So is there a golf tip or a golf drill that can fix everything in your golf swing? Mm, you and I know it, there really isn't. But the tip or the golf drill I'm gonna share with you today is one of my students' favorites because I've, you know, many of my students come with all different problems. You know, they don't move their legs correctly or they don't move their torso correctly or, or they don't move their hands correctly. But this exercise or this drill I'm gonna show you today really helps them improve every aspect of their golf swing with their irons and their driver in such a simple way that they can take it straight to the golf course. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you what that drill is, first with the irons, then we'll move on to your driver. And I promise you, it's one of the easiest and simplest things you can possibly do for your golf game. Now, before I get into the video, if you're new to the channel, it's one of your first lessons of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos just like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. But you never have to remember a thing, I'll always put a free download practice guide in the description box below. So if you find yourself lacking consistency, maybe losing distance, you know, you may be struggling to get direction, ultimately it comes down to just one thing. You have some sort of breakdown at the moment of impact. Either it's a breakdown of the wrists, a breakdown of the arms, a breakdown of the body. And what you'll notice as you come through, there'll also be this almost breakdown look of the swing where your arms are folded in here. Maybe it's a bit flicky. Maybe your body's stuck and it hasn't turned through correctly. You don't see that with great players. What great players do, you'll see them here. As they approach impact, their arms are much straighter. They have some form of structure, some straight rounds. And then you'll see nearly every player, as they come through, as their trail arm is parallel to the ground here, You'll see their hips turn forward, you'll see their chest turn forward, and you'll notice, look, their arms are straight. They have this structure, they don't have, a, uh, they don't have this breakdown. So here's what I give my students. I say to them, look, if the best players, nearly every player in the world gets to hear that's good, why don't we start there? Why don't we work on that motion? Let me teach you that. Because rather than focus on the impact, if you get to hear, this bit naturally starts to take care of itself. And they love it because you can take this straight to the golf course. So let me show you how you start working on that. So I want you to start in your setup position just initially, okay? Now when you've got your setup position, all I want you to do here is, is the aim is to kind of help you feel what the best players feel like at impact and beyond. So the first thing I want you to do is this. Put the club up in front of you so you get a little bit of a hinge in your, in your wrists. Then push your lead hip over the front pad because at impact, you'll see with any great player, they don't, the impact's not this. Great players naturally have a forward motion of their hips. That helps them strike the ball first. So I need you to, help, I need you to feel that. Lift the club up, push your hip forward so it's directly over your lead foot. Okay, this immediately creates look a little bit of a tilt in your body. And then all I want you to do is turn your chest and your hips and your, uh, your trail knee to face the target. Look at this, just like that. Now I'm stopping here with my trail arm look parallel with the ground. This is the position I want you to go into. Okay, this is a feeling. Notice where I am, hips forward, chest forward, my trail leg look here is banked inwards here as my knee's pointing this way. Now, if you feel this is tight on your hips as you do this, you know, try this now, make sure you turn your toe out a, a little bit more here and don't be shy, maybe banking this left foot allows some flexibility. But the, there's nothing more complicated than this. We're gonna lift it up, push it forward, and then simply turn this way. This is giving you the destination. It's gonna help you feel how, look, beautifully coordinated here. There is no breakdown. What I see with a lot of players is this stops, this breaks down. Or what happens is, is they're all this way, right? So here it's giving you the sensation of what a great player feels. They feel freedom. The hips are turning, the knees are turning, the chest is turning, and therefore there's no car crash at impact. There's a beautiful flow. Feel how you unblock this part of the swing. Do some rehearsals, up, forward, pivot. Now that's my destination. Now I know where to go, and you know where to go, what do you do? You start here, make some small swings. And this is what I give my students to start with. I get them to start with this is over their um, left foot here. We get some small swings just about here, very, very small swings. And all I'm gonna do now is simply just turn and try to achieve that same place. Watch this. And that's it, nothing more than that. So we get them to really sense this. Now, when they first try this, I want you to watch out. There's something to watch out for here. Because most of play, uh, players who struggle with ball striking tend to move backwards here, 
What we're doing is, notice here, I am rotating around this joint. So when this is here, I'm pivoting and that is staying there. What I'm not doing here is this. Yes, they're facing the target, but I haven't, they look where I've gone, I've fallen backwards. We're here, we're pivoting around that fixed position, all right? This, that's the only thing I want you to watch out for. So we start there, let's get myself into setup position here. We push that forward, small swing, and all I'm gonna do is just turn and face the target. Okay, let's have a look at this in action. Where am I here? Tralam, face, 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 beautiful strike. And I could repeat that over and over again. Now, when you're doing this, the great thing is for you, you won't do that straight away. What will probably happen is you might do, you might do this, you might hit a shot, and you might be here and your pips are, look, are facing in that direction. Well, this means that you can then just kind of go, okay, let's just rehearse that one more time. Let's feel what it's gonna take to get everything just about here facing the target. And you just make that your entire goal. Coordinate it, push it forward, keep my weight over on this lead side initially, small little swing back, and through. And every shot will be much, much better struck and you have that destination. There is nothing more complicated, which is why my students love it. Now let me show you what we do with driver, which is, you know, some subtle differences. So you're probably gonna be asking, what do we do, do how do we get longer with this? Well, we're gonna go into that in a second, but let's just show you the subtle differences with driver. When you're setting up to driver here, one of the things you're gonna to need to do is remember the ball position is further forward. And we want a different impact. With an iron, we're striking down on this golf ball. So when we hit it, the shoulder's naturally going to be more level with the ground. But with driver, we're going to be slightly here. We're going to be more up. We're going to be hitting upwards on the golf ball here. So our bodies are going to have a little bit more tilt at the moment impact. Our head's going to be more back here because we're swinging upwards on the circle, okay? So what we do when we set off is, is we're going to push the hip forward as we did with the iron, but now it's got a further to go and we're going to have more tilt in here. So now look, when you do this exercise, you're going to feel like as you're turning, you're almost going to feel like you're almost leaning backwards as you're turning through. You're going to really feel more like this. People who struggle with driver tend to be more on top like this. This is your slicers. So this is a really great feel. Push forward, create the tilt, and then here, look, turn your chest and your hips, just like before, out towards the target, okay? This is gonna be a really great feel for you. And again, just like irons, we're gonna start very, very small initially. We're gonna push forward, create that tilt, and then practice, look, just turning everything through to that target. So nice small swing, create that tilt, backward here, and look at this through impact beautifully down the fairway. And that's probably gone with a very small swing. I probably that 200 yards. So this is what great contact feels like, okay? Now, if you want to start to get longer from this position here, I just think once you know the destination, of course, you simply go back to your original setup. You never want to start here. So you go back to our original setup, and then the idea behind all this, the more you practice this sensation, is, is you can swing longer, but now look, you know what you've got to be doing through look, the more, um, um, through the point of impact and follow through. So once you know your destination, everything else becomes so much simpler. So my students, when they're out on the golf course, they simply do this as part of their routine. They'll start here, they'll push forward, they'll turn towards the target, they rehearse, okay, that's my destination, and they don't think of much else. Then they get themselves set up, not in a normal position, swing back, and swing through. And it's as simple as that. So what do you think is going to happen the more you start to rehearse this motion, learn to feel where you need to get to here? What do you think will really happen over time? Your body will just know and it will build confidence. You'll know exactly where you need to go. And everything that happens before it starts to improve without you even thinking. That car crash that you had at the start, that all starts to disappear and you start to have this lovely, effortless, powerful impact position. It will really, really help. Now look, do me a favor, look, if you enjoyed this style of video, you need to not just improve your irons and your driving, you need to improve your short game. This has been a real favorite of, with my subscribers. Remember, I put a free download or practice guide in the description box below. If you're new to the channel, press that subscribe button and the bell so I can give you more free content like this every single week. But until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.